Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting this channel by only subscribing and pressing or hitting that notification bell. You'll always be updated wherever we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you're new to this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. Remember, it's makes from the makes creation. We are yet in another video where we want to look at the FIFA World Cup Volunteer Open. The FIFA, FIFA World Cup Volunteer. Opportunities are open in Qatar. Opp opportunities are open around the globe. For anyone that wish to be a volunteer, for anyone that would want to improve his experience, his career experience, for anyone that would want to meet new challenges, meet new people, meet new courages, meet new cultures, meet new people, work with different groups of people, it is an opportunity for you. Remember, it is the FIFA World Cup Volunteers 2022. The gates are open. The gates are open as per the committee, the Supreme Committee in charge of the in charge of organizing the FIFA World Cup. The, positions the opportunities are open in one way or the other remember the applications to be part of the volunteer at the fifa world cup qatar 22 are now open via what you call the volunteer fifa.com remember a total of 20000 volunteers athletic volunteers interested volunteers those with extra unique skills to add those with the, the those with the power to improve or to add on their self are needed to be part of the volunteer and remember when we are talking about volunteers we are not only or they are not going only going to work in one place in the volunteers there are very many places they will volunteer in the training grounds where national teams will be training from we have uh, hotels we have airports we have transport system you know those are parts or those are part of different areas where the volunteers will be put or where you will be put as your area remember Remember, in volunteering, it's not all about looking at how much I'm going to earn because it's not paid. But what kind of experience do you get to add on yourself and your CV? What kind of groups of people you meet? Yes, when you're volunteering, you definitely, definitely know you're going to meet new groups of people with the different minds that are going to add you. It also helps you to improve your CV or improves your way of dealing with people in one way or the other so the official day is open and everyone can volunteer anyone can instead anyone interested in volunteering can register on the what we call the fifa on what we call the volunteer fifa.com website remember it is only permitted for those people that are above 18 years if you're above 18 years all over the world you can register yourself as a fifa world cup volunteer remember the applications or the applicants are supposed to be above 18 years or are supposed to be above 18 years of age and remember this volunteering activities or the peak of the volunteers will start on first first october 2022 remember if you speak english it is well and good for you it is well and good for you and if you speak arabic it is yet another added advantage for you to volunteer in the fifa world cup remember this is an arabic country and uh, this is an arabic country. so you knowing arabic is also an added advantage remember for you to volunteer you do not need a previous experience anyone can apply around the group anyone can apply around the group if you are interested and you feel you can be part of this winning team, you can be part of the, the team, then you can apply at whatever stage or at whatever uh, place that you are in all over the world. And it does not discriminate. As per the committee, there is no discrimination at all. All people are invited to apply for the FIFA World Cup volunteering in Qatar. Remember? Remember? 
those volunteers, for anyone that is going to be a volunteer, you first of all, you receive what we call a limited, you receive what you call an limited edition of the Adidas uniform, along with a meal and transportation, wherever, public free transportation, wherever you'll be going or whatever kind of training they'll be giving for you. Remember, this you are going to log in, you are going to open an account on the FIFA, uh, on the volunteerfifa.com. The web, the, the, the domain is called the volunteerfifa.com. You're going to open uh, an account. You're going to fill in your details and some of the documents that are required, some of the conditions that are required, you must be fully vaccinated for you to apply for the FIFA volunteering in Qatar. You must be uh, vaccinated. You might have, you must have got what you call the approved uh, vaccines in Qatar. And remember, one of the conditions that you'll be required, one of the documents, you'll be required to attach what you call your vaccination certificate. You'll be attached, you'll be required to attach one of your vac the vaccination certificate, your passport number, make sure you have a passport with you or you have a cat ID with you, then you also need to attach your passport number, cat ID, your mobile number that is directly linked to your uh, to your ID in case that one works if you are living in Qatar and if you are living outside Qatar then you probably need to have what you call a passport you need to have what a, a passport you need to have a small size passport photo for you to fill remember this passport photo it will be attached and should be very clear for that scan for a passport photo if it's scanned it should be in what we call a clear print then you can go fill in the application fill in the first phase of the application then you'll go to the second phase because we have what you call the second phase where they'll have to scrutinize and check your information. Then we also have the last phase where they'll have to take interviews in one way or the other. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter wherever you'll be around the world, wherever you'll be, which kind of continent you'll be, you will still take up the interview and they'll still select it. And if you are selected, then it's going to be a very good opportunity. It's going to be a very good opportunity for you. You'll get a free visa. You'll get the visa or you'll get a ticket that will bring you after volunteering then you'll have to take off or go back to your country, which is a very good opportunity for you to travel and a very good opportunity for you to see other people in other areas. So uh, please make sure if you're interested in volunteering, you should log in very fast, create an account as soon as possible, fill in your details and apply. Hope I've tried to share with something for people who want to be volunteers, for people who have volunteered, even if you've not volunteered with no experience, you are still allowed to apply for the volunteering in Qatar. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for trusting this channel, for the latest information, for all the updates, the information that will enable us grow and enable us to evolve. Remember, it's makes from the makes creation. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. Consider supporting this channel by subscribing. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of the interesting parts, more of the interesting information.